Hey, greetings. This is Dr. Williams, your superintendent, and this is our flipped work session. Since we're only having one meeting for the month of March, um, I wanted to take this opportunity to just review some of the materials. Uh, so you have your hard copy of the materials in front of you, and I'll just be reviewing um, the highlights for our board meeting. Um, I'm not going to go into detail with the financial report, uh, but of course you can feel free to send me any questions that you have prior to our board meeting. And of course we can have additional discussions uh, at our board meeting, but you do have the complete uh, financial report as part of your packet. Uh, at our board meeting, we will have several Team Selma celebrations. I'm super excited about uh, recognizing our Selma High School boys and girls basketball teams for the seasons that they had, as well as the coaches. Uh, we also have uh, several student groups that we'll recognize for awards that they've received um, uh, at the state level, including our DECA, culinary arts and drafting. Um, and then as you're aware, we had two winners of Michael Johnson's uh, Shark Tank and they'll be recognized as well. So always excited to celebrate our scholars. Um, after public comments, uh, the superintendent's report. Uh, I do have a request from the Summer High School Band, and this is for a, a trip that's uh, actually this weekend. It's for the Mardi Gras Parade in Biloxi. And they will leave around noon on Saturday and uh, come back Sunday evening, Sunday night. Um, they will march in the parade in Biloxi on Sunday, so they're not missing any school days. And I do apologize for the late notice on this, but I just received the information in the last week. Uh, also, as part of the superintendent's report, I will do a mid-year review, a mid-year data review. As you know, we do use uh, performance series. Uh, we did beginning of the year testing uh, where we were able to get baseline data, and now all schools have completed their mid-year data, um, or their mid-year assessments, rather. And so I will go over that data and uh, give you some details in terms of the progress that we're making, as well as what our next steps are in continuing to make improvements for um, academic achievement. Uh, for our consent agenda, we do have a number of items, and um, if you want to follow along in your packet, that would be great. Um, we have the AMSTOC contracts, um, several of these, and, and you'll notice that the dates are, are posted on here in terms of when the professional development will occur. Um, and these are the routine contracts that we get from AMSTOC. And they do, of course, stipulate um, that they will cover substitute teachers for our teachers that are attending. Um, if you look at them, they are for different grade levels. Um, the first one um, on March 7th is for 6th through 8th grade PLC meeting. Um, and this, of course, includes substitute reimbursement. Um, another one for March 7th is a grades 3 through 5 PLC meeting. Um, and again, substitute reimbursement is part of that contract. On April 4th, we have 9th through 12th grade PLC meeting. And on April 8th, we have K2, kindergarten through second grade PLC meeting. And again, those are AMSTA contracts and it's the routine contracts that we um, have with AMSTA um, in order for them to provide the uh, professional learning and resources for our teachers. And of course, the agreement that they will um, reimburse us for substitute teachers. Next, you have the School Resource Officer Agreement, and we've been talking about this for some time now, um, looking at ensuring that our schools are safe and doing so by providing school resource officers at uh, R.B. Hudson Middle School as well as Selma High School. So um, I will let you take a look at this, and um, you've seen most of it before. I did meet with Chief Collier um, two weeks ago, and we made a couple of adjustments to the original contract that I shared with you. Um, mainly just indicating that he and I will work together to select the officers um, and that he will be uh, the person that's overseeing the process in terms of po posting the, the job and um, seeking those applicants for it. Um, we will save um, around $200,000 a year by going this route. Um, and I have spoken with the principals at both schools and um, they are very supportive of us moving forward with this initiative. Um, if you have any questions after you thoroughly review uh, this uh, agreement, please let me know before our board meeting on Tuesday and I'll be more than happy to address those particular concerns. 
Also, we have our second read and for approval um, to school calendars. Um, as you know, we're looking at uh, the 2019-20 school year as well as the 2020-2021 school year. That's a mouthful. Um, and so no changes have been made on these since the first read. Um, so if you do have any questions, please let me know again uh, before our uh, first, uh, I'm sorry, before the board meeting on, on Tuesday. And I've also shared these with the county so that um, Ms. Shelton is aware of the calendars that we're considering for the next two years. Next, we have a Six Flags um, trip. It's a STEM trip. Um, and this trip is um, for, which group? It's for Selma High School. This is for Selma High School. And um, it's a STEM um, Six Flags trip that's um, based on PBIS, and our Positive Behavior Intervention and Supports. Um, and basically, students um, will be rewarded if they have not had suspensions, no more than three tardies, and are passing their classes. Um, the students will be charged $67, which includes transportation, um, as well as admission into the park. And you've got um, some flyers that um, indicate some of what will be taking place um, during that day. And it's a science um, um, trip with a science focus. Um, so there will be education workbooks and opportunities for them to um, learn and grow from a science standpoint. Um, and so we're excited about the possibility of them being able to um, not only have fun at Six Flags, but um, also embed some of what they've learned in science during that particular field trip. Uh, next, we have um, the second read of our early graduation policy. And you'll notice in red the items that are different uh, from when this was presented at our last board meeting. Um, I did uh, clarify the language on letter B um, to ensure that when we're looking at the required credits, um, the 24 required credits are those that are required by the Alabama State Department of Education. In letter C, I also clarified that the 28 district credits are also required um, by the end of the first semester in order for uh, one of our scholars to take advantage of this early graduation policy. So if you've got any questions on that, please let me know. But those changes are indicated in red, and the rest of this policy uh, will read uh, exactly the same as um, the one that was presented to you before. Um, next, we've got um, professional services agreement for Teach for America. Um, and again, this is the routine contract that we have for Teach for America. And as you know, they do provide teachers for um, a number of our schools. Um, this year, particularly R.B. Hudson Middle School, um, as well as Selma High School, and we also had an elementary teacher this year. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty lengthy agreement, but it is the, um, the agreement that details everything from the teacher placement, um, the professional development commitment, um, as well as um, the, the uh, FERPA and other legal aspects that um, the teachers and that the organization will abide by. Um, we do have a, a strong relationship with Teach for America. I am meeting with their executive director this Friday to further discuss um, what we need for the coming school year, as well as to discuss some of the challenges that we had during this, this current school year. Um, and we look forward to partnering with them to ensure that our Teach for America teachers have um, a good experience here and that we're providing them the supports that they need to be successful um, so that they can help us improve outcomes for our scholars. Um, next, we've got um, an MOU for the, uh, our culinary department um, with the coffee shop. Um, and this is just an MOU where our students will be working closely with the coffee shop as they're preparing foods um, uh, to actually be sold. And so they'll be able to use a business model um, and looking forward to them collaborating with other CTE classes in terms of developing that business model um, and getting some real world experiences by working closely with um, the owners and managers of the coffee shop. And I've got a partner profile. This is for the coffee shop. Um, this is um, just some information that we will receive from the coffee shop that um, 
um, details, the specifics in terms of um, how they will support our schools. The partner profile is what we use for our um, school partnerships, and so we do want to make sure that we have them um, squarely identified as one of our adopted school partners um, as well. So again, as you review the partnership profile information as well as the MOU, uh, just let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything that you need for clarity. Um, now, that concludes the items that I will discuss today. Um, you will receive uh, your hard copies of this. Um, you may have already received them as you're viewing this. Um, the uh, online um, uh, platform will be live as of Wednesday of this week. Um, um, I'm sorry, that'll be Tuesday of this week. The online platform will be live uh, and we will also make sure that the personnel report is updated and that you have that no later than Friday of this week. Um, it does include um, several contracts and um, if you've got some questions about those then I will certainly look forward to speaking with you. I will give all of you a call before Friday to go over those personnel items um, so that we can govern ourselves accordingly if there are any things that you would like to adjust or change. Uh, thank you for your time um, as you're reviewing the materials. Again, please reach out to me if you have any questions at all, and I look forward to us having a successful board meeting next week. Thanks.